together. So you guys you met recently? Yeah. Mm, only only you know within the last year. Oh, cool. Yeah. So did you ever listen to Skid Row back Absolutely. Then? Yeah? Absolutely. The funny thing is, and this is a really funny story, when I left Billy Idol in 1980, uh, beginning of 88, I did my own record for Warner Brothers, Tommy Playboys, and we were looking for a singer. And somehow a photo, he was in a band called Madame X, yeah. And I got this photo, and I and this guy looked amazing, and uh, that's with the hair and all that. Yeah, and then I heard this, the tracks, and I was like, he's really, really good, really good singer. So I sent word. I had known the guitar player in that band, uh, Maxine, and I said, hey, you know, I'm doing a, a record. You know, what's your singer doing? <laughs> and uh, she never gave him the message. So. Uh, so potentially we could have, but you know, it all works out for the best because right after that, li I think it was literally within six months he left and joined Skid Row. Yeah. So, you know, it's yeah. really cool because of all singers that you could have worked with, this is yeah. probably a really yeah. uh, unusual choice, I would have think. Yeah, but it's also that, you know, I, I, I like a lot of classic rock stuff, so yeah. you, you're talking about doing Led Zeppelin and... And uh, and some stuff where you know the singer's vocal range has got to be yeah. really good. Yeah. So it, I'm like a kid in a candy store because he can sing anything. Yeah. So I'm like most singers are like if you say do you want to do you know Dazed and Confused by Led Zeppelin, mm -hmm. most singers are like no fucking way I can't sing that. And he's like up to the challenge. It's great. Right back. Oh here's my pal. Hey you. No oh. we're doing an interview now. Bye. Uh -huh. <laughs>